Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about one important chapter for IIT jam examination. Right, so the chapter is Bioinorganic Chemistry. And from this chapter, you will face at least one question from this chapter, maybe one or two marks question. Right, so why I am telling this uh, as important chapter? Because not only jam, but also other examination, right? JNU, BHU, uh, ISES, then JNCSR, ISER interview, okay. And also for other MSc entrance examination, this chapter is very very important. So in this video, first I will tell you about the last 5 years question papers from JAM 2014 to 18 and then I will discuss the syllabus and also elaborate the syllabus. Okay. And what to read from this chapter. Okay. So the first question from JAM 2014 was the metal ions of an enzyme involved in hydration of CO2 is and you can see the question on your screen okay so it says the metal ion uh, in the hydration of co2 so co2 this is 2014 jam and co2 that is co2 and its hydration that means plus h2o okay it gives actually h2co3 this is carbonic acid and yeah, with the help of one enzyme that is carbonic anhydrase okay so carbonic anhydrase which actually consists of the zn2 plus metal ion okay so the final answer will be zn2 plus metal ion okay so option d is correct now coming to jam 2015 okay and the question was low spin iron 3 plus center is present in deoxy form of hemoglobin oxy form of hemoglobin hemocyanin and carbonic anhydrase okay so from these four options you may discard option c and option d because hemocyanin actually consists of cu2 plus and the question is about the iron 3 plus center so and also carbonic anhydrase which i have already said that carbonic anhydrase consists of zn2 plus so it is also uh, not related to iron 3 plus so option a or option b that is deoxyform or oxyform of hemoglobin uh, may be correct okay so actually oxyform looks like this that is iron center and with this six coordination is possible four coordination is por porphyrin ending fifth coordination is globular chain and the sixth coordination with the sixth coordination oxygen molecule is attached that is why it this is actually ap3 plus in this and which is actually low spin system okay and also a p2 plus which is actually five membering this is actually the deoxy form and this is a p2 plus high spin so a p2 plus high spin is deoxy form a p3 plus low spin is oxy form okay so the question says low spin iron 3 plus center that is low spin iron 3 plus center that is uh, the oxy form so option b that is the oxy form of hemoglobin will be the correct answer right okay now coming to jam 2016 and the question says the protein that belongs to the class of blue copper proteins is or are actually you have to know about the blue copper protein and in the in this case option a that is celluloplasmin and option d that is azurin these two will be the correct option a and option d because these two actually belongs to the blue copper protein why blue copper protein why uh, i am telling this blue because these centers uh, that is the cellulose and azurin center which contains cu2 plus actually uh, shows intense blue coloration right that is why i am telling these two as blue copper protein okay so option a and option d are correct okay so now coming to jam 2017 which says that the Hemi containing proteins is or are cytochrome C, hemocyanin, hemi erythrin, and myoglobin. So, this is the MSQ type question. Also, this was the one uh, MSQ type question, and 2017, this is also a MSQ type question. The answer will be cytochrome C and myoglobin. That means hemi. Uh, hemocyanin and hemi erythrin doesn't complex any hemi group okay so these two actually contains the hemi group and thus these two uh, will be the correct options right so now coming to jam 2018 
which says that carbonic anhydrase is an example of hydrolysis enzyme. Okay, so the final answer will be let's say 2018. That says carbonic anhydrase is an example of hydrolysis enzyme, redox enzyme, auto transport protein, hemiprotein. So you have already uh, seen that carbonic anhydrase that is this one the first question from jump 2014 this is actually hydrolysis enzyme because here hydrolysis of co2 by carbonic anhydrase is occurring and that is why the final option or the correct answer will be the hydrolysis enzyme which one the carbonic anhydrase so carbonic anhydrase is the hydrolysis enzyme so option a is correct right so this is all about the last five years question and you have seen that uh, from e uh, each years that is 14 15 16 17 18 only one question came right thus we may guess that in jam 2019 also you may face you are going to face only one question okay so now i will talk about the most important topics from the iit jam syllabus of bioinorganic chemistry i will also elaborate these topics okay so keep watching so what to read from uh, bioinorganic chemistry actually the first topic that is essential and trace elements so you have to know the example of essential and trace elements and their positions in the periodic table okay so these two things example and their positions these two things are enough for uh, jam 2019 okay and then coming to fe2 plus fe3 plus cu2 plus zn2 plus these four metal ion and their significance or their the uh, enzymes or proteins formed by them okay and their uh, of course role uh, in the biological systems these things are must uh, much more important okay so here just remember the role of enzyme and proteins which consists of these four ion that is fe3 plus fe2 plus cu2 plus and zn2 plus okay and for this you can follow any standard book uh, i have followed uh, uh, only two books books by rp shankar volume 2 inorganic chemistry and another book is uh, hui kitter kitter that is also inorganic chemistry this is not actually pure bio bioinorganic chemistry book okay you may you may follow uh, bioinorganic chemistry by ak dash okay this, that that book is also very very good for, uh, if you are interested in future for if you want to study or uh, research related work then this book is very very important but otherwise if you want to qualify jam and you want to uh, solve the question in jam from bioinorganic chemistry then these two books that is rp sugar volume 2 the bioinorganic chemistry chapter and bioinorganic chemistry chapter from wiki regulator is also will be enough for you okay so i want to tell you something that in the in jam 2018 one question came from carbonic anhydrase in jam 2017 question came from hemoglobin and myoglobin in jam 2016 question came from uh, protein co2 plus protein actually question jam 2015 question from hemoglobin jam 2014 question from carbonic anhydrase why i am telling this because here i am getting one common thing that is the in the alternative year one question came from uh, hemoglobin and myoglobin and another question and in the in the next year one question came from uh, carbonic anhydrase that is enzyme or proteins these two things that is if uh, if this year one question came from carbonic anhydrase or a different kind of metal ions then in the next year question will come from uh, hemoglobin or myoglobin okay so in this sense you may guess that in jam 2019 the question will come from uh, hemoglobin or myoglobin because in jam 2018 uh, the question will uh, the question came from carbonic anhydrase okay so the, i have seen the whole sequence and that's why i'm telling you but this is not uh, this may not be correct but you may just guess this one okay so what to read from hemoglobin and myoglobin if you face a question from this so just uh, read these things and it will be it will be enough for you to, uh, to answer all those questions from hemoglobin and myoglobin okay so the first topic is the oxygen binding process and the structure formation by hemoglobin and myoglobin and also the two metal ions that is fe2 plus and fe3 plus okay and also the metal ion properties in those systems right that is the high spin low spin systems formation okay and one important uh, thing is the bore effect this is not the uh, physicist bore actually 
uh, actually uh, this bore effect this bore is his father okay so the bore effect is very very important and another important topic is the different groups like hemi a hemi b hemi c cytochrome a cytochrome b etc so this kind of groups and their uh, structure and also what are the subunits present in uh, this kind of groups right so read these topics very carefully and you will definitely solve that question which will come from uh, this bioenergetic chemistry chapter right so if you want to learn more you can follow my blog you will get the link in the description below okay so check over there you will get the fully solution paper whatever i have uh, told you in this video okay and also you can buy books whatever i have told in this video okay you will you can buy the book from uh, the blog okay i will provide you the link okay so if you have any query please comment below and also if you have any query uh, regarding iid jam or any other topic uh, you need to understand you can suggest me and i will definitely try to make a video on this okay so thank you thanks for watching